Hi, welcome back to Elite Automation. I'm Malachi Greb, CEO of Elite Automation. I have my little brother Landon here with me. How you all doing today? He's actually not part of this video. He's going to be part of this next video. We're going to do a little training tutorial. But what I wanted to show you guys today was... Uh, different instructions and how if they have input or uh, output parameters how you can remove those instructions alright so we're gonna jump over here into studio 5000 right now and what I wanted to show you guys today was this JSR and how it has these input parameters here uh, and this goes for any instruction not just this JSR so if you have any instruction that has these different uh, input or return parameters or just any type of parameter at all within the instruction um, I just want to show you guys how to be able to remove them. Now, in the past, I had dropped a JSR into my program, and it had these different parameters in here. But for some odd reason, I'd never experienced that before, and I was like, "What the heck? Why? Why are these? Why are there these different parameters? I just did not quite uh, understand." Because, like I said in the past, it ne I had never seen them, and maybe it's because I always just copy and pasted my JSRs. So at first, I was just running around the software trying to find some different. JSR instruction. I thought maybe there was a secondary JSR instruction and I had the wrong JSR instruction. And so after I, you know, ran around trying to figure that out, um, I just kept basically poking at it until I figured out that you can right click into this thing and you can click remove instruction. So all you do is hover over the instruction that you want to remove and then right click into it, remove instruction. And that's really all you have to do it, to remove all these instructions, and then boom, there you go. Your rung is ready to go. Because if those parameters have the question marks on them still, you're not able to download into your controller. So, therefore, you can't move forward with what you're trying to do. You can't download it into your controller. You can't do anything really past that. Uh, you can't verify your rung or whatnot. So... Yeah, hopefully that video was useful for you guys. I just wanted to do that quick video so that way, you know, you didn't have to stumble around and search for whatever I was trying to search for because, uh, you know, a lot of people may not know that you can remove instructions or, or remove, a lot of people may not know that you can remove parameters from an instruction. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys out there and I'll catch y'all in the next one.